What's going on today, guys? Today, we're gonna to take another look at the good old Duramax, especially since we've been starting that build back up to uh, look at some things that I kinda of wanna to do to it. Today's a real easy, simple video, just something I wanna see how it looks without. So in a previous video where we had removed the, uh, the rain guards up here, and I still, it still kind of got some of the tacky residue left on. I need to get that off. But so far, I think it looks pretty clean and I like it and got an overall, I think, pretty good response from that video. I think people like the way it looks. And uh, John McGlasson, I hope I didn't butcher your name, man, but I had asked out there, you know, kind of what, what are some things that you guys might do to this truck? And he had a big, long list that kind of aligned with everything that I liked. So we're going to take a look at doing some of those things. And today, since it's real easy and free, we're gonna start with the uh, bug guard. I know I'd said I, I would keep it because I like it, but the nice thing is I can literally take this thing off. If I decide I want it back on there, I can put it back on. Also guys, still working on some tow mirrors for the truck. That'll come eventually and some uh, more goodies under the hood. But like I say, this is just gonna be kind of a slow fun build as we go along here. Um, but also looking at the front, John had mentioned maybe doing a black grill and we still might. Um, I just noticed the boat, the, chrome's kind of bubbling there we still might i might just for fun i know it's not everybody's favorite but i might just for fun plasti dip the uh chrome on here black see how it looks um long term though i, do, I don't want that to be what it always is um another direction i kind of thought about going to is just buying a new grill because i kind of like having the stock parts to put back on if i ever decide to sell something um so maybe buying an aftermarket grill that's very similar to the oem style and uh seeing if we can color match it ourselves so we would take the chrome either sand it down or buy one that's ready paint to match and then paint that up um like i say to match so it would be the same color as this right here or the rest of the truck and then also kind of thought about the same with the uh, the top bumper cap. I forget what this is called, bumper cover. Only bad thing is, um, in my research, these are textured. All of them are on the 2500s. I don't know if the 1500s fit, but I think you can buy some that you don't have to sand down. I don't know if they're much more expensive, but uh, maybe, maybe doing that, doing a paint to match on that, and then maybe something with the bottom too, because this is... A completely different color than this and i don't know i haven't paid enough attention to other 1500s to see if they're all like that or not um and then who knows maybe if we get crazy we'll we'll do this the same with the bumper but the bumper here does have a little rust and i don't know if that's just the top of the chrome or if the bumper's actually rusted through but nonetheless i think there's a lot of cool things we could do with this truck to really make it look sharp but anyways let's go ahead and get started with today's video we're just gonna pop the hood remove this and see how she looks so let's get started. Head, pop a couple of these. Away from the turbo horn install, I accidentally unscrewed a line that had antifreeze in it. The deck's cool. I was smelling that a little bit burnt off here. Kind of freaked me out for a second, thinking blowing a head gasket, you know, every Duramax owner's worst fear. That are the injectors. Everybody makes fun of the injectors on the poor LB7. I do gotta say this is being this is being a much easier job than uh, installing that turbo horn. Almost even easier than uh, than their windshield wipers. All right, all five are out. I'll put these in my back pocket so I don't lose them. Forget them. And let's see if it just comes off. Nice. All right, guys, there it is. So let's say goodbye to it for a little while. Like I say, I'm going to hold on to it. I'm not going to throw it away. Um, but I think just for the heck of it, I'm going to go ahead and put those screws back in. Otherwise, I'm liable to lose them. Then we'll drop the hood, see how she looks. And let's not forget our screwdrivers. All right, let's take a look at it, guys. Whew. <laughs> the front's dirty. We're gonna have to clean it, but uh, there we have it. Oh, you actually can't tell. I'm just now walking behind the camera here, as you can see. And you can't tell from this distance, but it is very dirty there. <clears throat> Bring you guys up close so you can check it out. It is just a little dirty there, but let's back up from a distance, see how it looks. Golly, it just looks so different to me. I've been so used to it with the, uh, the bug guard on there. 
I don't know, guys. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like it or not? I can get used to it. It doesn't look bad at all. It would definitely look better if it had the uh, the 05 HD hood and 05 grill. If any of you guys are in Northwest Arkansas and have anything, hook me up for a decent price. Let me know. I might be interested. But it does it does look a little more aggressive. I think it kind of kind of makes the headlights have that you know more angry, true cat eye look. So. I don't know. I might, I might get used to it, guys. I might get used to it. All right, guys. Well, that was a real easy, simple video for today. We're going to leave it off for a little while, see how we like it. And like I said, you guys let me know how you like it, if you think it looks better or not. And of course, I'll get that front end kind of cleaned up a little bit more so it looks a little bit better. And also let me know on the front end. We kind of talked about some of the color matching, maybe plastic dipping for a little while. Um, let me know what you guys did. If you have three quarter ton, if you got a half ton, how did you go about the color matching process? All right, guys, thanks for checking out today's video. Until next time, take care.